G'day fellas and welcome back to the 126 Rebuilds. Today we are going to be doing Pittsburgh. They come in at a terrible three-star school. 79 overall, so this is going to be tough in the ACC. I'm not sure how the teams in the ACC are with these updated rosters. I'm probably least familiar with the ACC, so wish us the best of luck. We're going to try and get these guys a national championship, if not two. Let's jump into it. Let's check out these freshmen that we have to work with. Hopefully some of them are uh, gonna be adequate. Okay, we have six freshmen. Only six, I kinda like that though. So we're only a three star school. I don't expect our talent pool to really be that good. I mean, I'm not even gonna be interested in these low 60 overalls. I want 70s, man. Give me some 70s to work with. All right, so we're coming in with CC and C+. All right, so the people that are actually interested a few and far in between. We only have nine people that are interested. All right, we already signed Anthony Morris. That's a really fast prospect signing, actually. Well, don't want to do that. Hold on a second. Look at this guy. Clint Morton. I'll take that. We got a five-star athlete. We have two five-star athletes. Jim Sims. He's going to be a fan favorite, I can tell you that. Let's hope that we can get some bangers, okay? I like Robert McIntosh. Jim Sims looks like a beast, 77 overall. Brandon Warren is an animal. 81 overall, he's a 9 plus gem. I'm liking the look of this class right now. Let me check out this scouting real quick. I like Travis Miller. Let's go ahead and put, uh, what, what, is it, what did that be? 450 maybe? Then we can go put the rest in of the best receiver, who is Brandon Williamson. Oh, this is not good, fellas. This is not good at all. Legitimately lost to Old Dominion. There we go. We got Jim Sims. We got Shannon Vincent. Only two people, but uh, we're zero and seven. Oh my God, that is not good. Yes, we got our first win, boys. Zero and seven, now one and seven. Cheers to that. Hey, look at this class though. Wow. Look how many people we signed. 280 plus overalls, a lot of high 70s. A lot of them are offense, but we can, you know, we can work around that. We finish an amazing one and 11. We're probably gonna get fired year one, which is not ideal. You did your best here, coach. Okay, so we did get fired. Ah! I'm not surprised though, one and 11. I mean, not that that's our fault, but you know. We dropped down to a two star school, obviously. Okay, we have three people leaving the squad. Two of them are going to Texas Tech. One's going to the Air Force. See you later, mate. Have fun. All right, let's go sign some of these guys. 2,000 each, and then Carl Fitzpatrick can get the most. This is the biggest, craziest first year ever. Not only did we go 1-11 and and get fired, but we signed the number one class in the country. Is that not the biggest plot twist of all time? Four five-star players, nine four-stars. How do you go 1-11 and beside the best class? Oh man, all right, let's get this out the way. So we're coming off a number one class in the nation. We're now down to a two-star school though. With that being said, there's still some pretty decently talented people here, I have to say. Uh, defensive end, I'll take that. We also got middle linebacker. Okay, I'll take a guard. This is a great start right here, I'm not gonna lie. Take another DT. How did we go down a prestige level, but get much more talented people? The logic, right? That is uh, quite the transition right there, okay. That's a really good prospect. Another really good prospect. All right, I got to take the offensive lineman over 70, like, hands down. I'll take the tackle, 74 overall. Guess I'll take the strong safety. Guess I'll take the middle linebacker. So this is what the class is looking like to start season two. Everybody on this list is interested. We're coming off the number one class, and uh, we're looking to replicate that here again. We should be able to do something close to it. All right, let's see what we have in low lock. Red Estes. I'm taking all the athletes, defensive ends, DTs. Five-star athlete. And we have a quarterback. I don't need him, though. We're getting pretty unlucky with the... Oh, 640. Hold on a second. Brandon Wilson. All right. In season two, we are C plus, C plus, and B minus. So we're still trash. That's what I'm trying to say. We beat Virginia. Let's go. All right. We pick up two offensive linemen. Three offensive linemen. That's excellent. Now we just need one more. All righty. Yeah, this class is looking quite solidified. Why is Sean King on there? I guess we'll pick up Eric White, because why not? I don't know where else to go from here, mate. Let's go find somebody in low lock. How'd I miss that athlete, though? All right, let's go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. Look at that. Brian Jones picked up a good running back. The offensive line is completely done. That is fantastic. And we go 6-6, six and six, which is a big improvement. It's not great, but I will take it. 
Players leaving, what do we got? Freshman going to UAB, see you later mate, not really interested. Damari Mathis cannot be persuaded. Losing some good talented people here fellas. Okay, we have a 44 overall middle linebacker. I'm gonna have to gracefully decline. Don't really want a 44 overall. Um, I do want to get Estes and I really want to get Justin Hill. These other guys, oh actually, hold on a second. Go five into you guys, because we don't need wide receiver. Probably just gonna go all in on, uh, Justin Hill can get Get like 5k and the other guy can get six and a half so we get the 16th best class the good news is we didn't drop down a prestige level that should help us a lot actually really happy about that all right check it out three people that are four star the only thing is i know for a fact that defensive end and cornerback are the only things that we need right now everything else is completely non-relevant Take that, we got a four-star cornerback. Oh, an athlete and defensive end, no. You're a 71, I'll take that. Let me snag some cornerbacks, please. We do need a defensive end though, so that's kind of clutch. I think Rich Smith might genuinely be somebody interested in the squad. I know these guys aren't. Defensive end, we need that, I'm gonna take Deloach. Ah, Rich Smith is genuinely interested. All right, let's get that defensive end, are we good to rock? Uh... One cornerback, that's a four star. Gotta be honest with you guys, I don't like the look of this. We lost to North Carolina. That's good though, that shows progression. Look at this class, Brandon Dodson, 79. That, I think the class might be done. All we needed was one defensive end and like two cornerbacks. We'll keep going with recruiting, but that's great. That pretty much knocks that out the park. Might as well offer these guys scholarships as well. The worst thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna get cut. But look at our class that we signed. All we needed was defensive end and cornerback. Yeah, we. I think we signed like three or four cornerbacks here five maybe even all great and then multiple defensive ends as well so man we smacked miami let's go boys that's the kind of season we need right there we still fell one game short of the targets win for a year but that is still progress man one in 11 to six and six to eight and four davis bevel is trying to leave no you don't trust me red shirting next year is what you want to do transfer requests Ooh, left tackle out of Michigan State. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, we signed them. We, we, didn't, we didn't even do that. We signed a top 10 class. Hold on a second, man. Check out these top classes real quick. We're back up to a three-star, boys. We got the seventh best class in the nation. I'll take it. That's a best class in a seventh class. I don't remember what our second year was. Cutting seniors and juniors is a 199 IQ. It actually is. It really is. Because it means the people that we recruited that are at risk of transferring have to play without me editing the depth chart. So on so forth, the circle of life continues. All right, so for those of you watching on the tubes, season four will be a sim season. The team is literally done. They just need to develop. That is the only thing left to do. We're up to a three-star score now. We got a red shirt. I nearly just forgot to red shirt players. Look how many red shirts we're going to be losing. Uh, computer's going to do that. Let's get this season out the way. I need a conversation with chat. What up, though? Hey, the computer put in work. Look at that class. I'm so proud of the computer. We went 12 and 0. We went from 8 and 4 to 12 and 0 in season 4. It doesn't matter, though, because we're not beating Clemson. You know what I mean? Like, we are not beating Clemson. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before we even do that, we're B pluses across the board. What's funny is, this would legitimately be the national championship right now. Number one versus number two. This is pretty much the natty right here. The pre natty natty. And we lost by a tie. Touchdown. Honestly, I, I expected that. All right, we got the Trojans in. I, I can't remember what ball game it was already. Coach of the year, though. We finish off fifth in the nation. Uh, we're probably going to go ahead and lose this game as well since we are only B pluses. All right, we lose there as well. So we finished 12 and 2, bro. That's wild. Players leaving. We got to do that real quick. I nearly just skipped over that. All right, freshmen's trying to leave. You play in nine games. You get 50 tackles. You get 13 sacks. I want you to stay. Everybody else is graduating. That's a lot of people to lose right there. Uh, let's check this out though. Quarterback, we're cool. Running back. Fullback is trash, but we can we, we'll deal with that. Tight ends are 90. Wow, good on him. 79, 79. Sometimes the O-line just manages to evade me so well. 78, I guess we'll take it. What else are we going to do? DT will at least be decent. All right, we're about a mid-range team. I don't think we're great but we're not terrible either. This is probably one of the worst teams that we've built though. I'm just going to put that out there. Don't expect great things from this team. <laughs> 
Okay, so we start off season five ranked 15th in the nation. I like it. Let me just double check that everybody is in position. Holy crap. Bruh, we are. Okay, I like this team a lot now. How did this team get so good all of a sudden? Now we look a million times better. So first and foremost, we're A plus, A plus, and A minus. That's what I like to see, boys. 97, 90, okay. That is natty worthy. We just gotta get lucky, bud. All right, boys, this is where the game start getting interesting. We got Miami. Uh, we went undefeated regular season last year. Can we have more of the same right now, please? Yes, 48 to 14, what a dub. All right, 25th ranked Virginia Tech. I know somebody in the chat goes for VT, right? Yes, we're competing, boys. B Duke. Yes, we smashed Duke 41 to 7. Ah, oh, we got Virginia still. I think if we win this game right here, we might be a uh, natty bound again. I hope we don't have Clemson though. <laughs> Man, we are dropping 50 bombs left, right, and center right now. Defense for a 93 overall is holding pretty strong. Coach of the year finalist, finalist for the Heisman. You already know, boys. It's do or die time, apparently. Second year in a row, we are facing Clemson in the ACC championship game. They're better than us. They're dropping the most points by 0.1. We're dropping the most amount of yards, though, which uh, beats them out. So, fingers crossed, boys. Fingers Fingers crossed. No, we, that was the same score. We lost by a touchdown. 35 to 42. Bruh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was that not the same score? All right, we finished fourth on the Heisman list. And we're versing USC again, who we also versed in last year's bowl game. One coach of the year though, that's nice to see. If Clemson went on to go play in the Natty, which they are, they're playing Michigan. Wow, bruh. So we gave Clemson another trip to the Natty. Let's check out these stats real quick. All right, quarterback. He he did not play well at all. 35 touchdowns, seven picks. That is garbage. Running back Travis Mason played pretty well though. Daniel Carter, the backup, played pretty well too. Receiving him, Brandon Warren. Not bad, not bad. I don't really know, man. That's a lot of tackles though. Quinton McCutcheon's Cutchion. That is a lot of tackles in a season. He also had five and a half sacks. He also had a pick. He bought out, bro. These jerseys look kind of nice though, right? All right, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to like the third or fourth quarter or something. Look at that. We're driving. Oh, we only got three out of that. We scored. Pittsburgh is on the board boys all right usc is gonna get back in this game don't tell me we're gonna have a sweaty man this guy's route running is unbelievable love with the step back jeez you see that boys ah let's go run play i fumbled it how did he fumble that? I didn't even think that was programmed in the game like that. Come on, boys. Get in the end zone. Fourth and eight. I'm going for it. I like to call this play the Charlie Mitchell special. Works like a charm every time. Oh, Collie of the big man. Woo he just absolutely trucked that guy at the end there. Bro, just like that, Pitt takes the lead right back. Playing the game, man. Wow, USC scored instantly. Come on. Get in the end zone. I literally got you here. There we go. Man, this game is a sweaty if I've ever seen it. Boost, get on the ground. Out the back of the end zone. It's going to be a tied ball game. Bop. Cut it out. Porter! Go, Porter! Ooh, crap. That's a big return all the way back to the 50, boys. Carter just breaking tackles like a beast. Yeah, look at that clock tick down. It's gorgeous, ain't it? All right, so there we go. We take a lead 20, uh, 38 to 31, sorry. 20 seconds to go. I mean, obviously, we have nothing to worry about. USC is not that great. Whew. So we could not beat Clemson in either of the ACC championship games. But, I mean, this is the play right here. That's the play right there. He fumbled it. <laughs> like bruh that's the play of the game man so for those of you watching over on youtube it was a pretty close game to be honest bevel had our three touchdowns pretty decent completion percentage 356 yards rushing end uh, travis mason was basically money all day his stats went amazing but he came through in a matted warren at 100 yards nothing too crazy on the receiving end blocking was great a lot of a lot of breakfast for the offensive lineman today other than dan sims 
And then on defense, Dotson killed it today, bro. We had an interception. I wonder if that play where he fumbled it, that did not count as a forced fumble at all. Fumble recovery, zero of those bad boys. That is crazy. That being said, fellas, you made it this far into the video. You are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.